It's not unusual to see this church parking lot filled on a Sunday morning, but today, on this third day of the Fugitive Safe Surrender, it's packed as a steady flow of Summit County residents enter the House of the Lord to settle their warrants. We have people coming in with everything from driving under suspension to uh, petty theft uh, to uh, low-level felony uh, drug charges. By 2 o'clock this afternoon, nearly 300 people had come today, more than 800 since Wednesday, including Dominique Carter. I got a letter in the mail to show proof of my car insurance, and I didn't have any, so my license automatically got suspended, and I continued to keep driving, and I got caught. Here's what happens when you come here to settle a warrant. Six, three, eight. You're processed by law enforcement. You go before a judge, and most people are free and clear when they leave. There are also services available, like Oriana House. Drugs and alcohol obviously play a big role in uh, offending behavior, um, and our agency is, has really been the lead criminal justice agency for that in the community. Um, we've tailored our treatment program to meet the needs of the, the clients that we see. Tomorrow's the last day of the Fugitive Safe Surrender. Dominique, for one, is glad she came. I'm glad I'm about to be able to get it out the way so I can go on with my life a little bit more easier.